Hi guys, welcome to Daily Dental Hygiene. Today I'm gonna to be talking about night guards, Invisalign, retainers, uh, dentures, partials, whatever you put in your mouth that is not already there needs to be cleaned on a daily basis. So the number one thing I see patients using and wearing on a daily basis when they go to bed is a night guard. So I'm gonna go over that home care. If you are cleaning and brushing your teeth well, but you are putting in a dirty night guard, that is like taking a shower and wearing the same dirty underwear you've had five years. Yeah, that's gross. We have to stop that. I've seen so many patients come in, bring their night guards in, and they're brown and black. Yikes, that is bacteria. That is not a naturally occurring color. So if you see that, that's a huge indicator. I tell patients, your night guard, or whatever the appliance is for this video, I'm just gonna say the word night guard. Whatever it is that you put in your mouth, it needs to be cleaned. It is your second set of teeth. So if you clean your teeth well, but you put in a dirty night guard, you are putting the bacteria literally right where it just came from, where it already liked hanging out. No wonder your gums are inflamed. Hi, yeah, you're putting bacteria right, right into your gums again. So every morning you take it out, you need to brush it with a toothbrush and antibacterial soap. I'll repeat that, antibacterial soap. Notice how I didn't say toothpaste. Toothpaste has grit and it is abrasive and it can cause micro damaging to the night guard. I mean, most of us are females. What happens when you buff up your nails? When you get, to, when you get your nails done, why do we do that? Because then the nails stick better. Same with your night guard or your whatnot. If you're brushing it with a grit and you're causing abrasion, bacteria and stain will stick better to it. So know that it is only antibacterial soap. It will disinfect and it is silky smooth. It won't cause damage. Um, I tell patients when you change your toothbrush every three months, uh, use, use the old toothbrush to clean your night guard in, right? Like don't use your regular toothbrush. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't personally want a bunch of soap in my toothbrush. That's not gonna taste as good. So just use a regular cheap Dollar Tree toothbrush. Um, also keep it nice and dry, wet, moist environments uh, help bacteria, viruses, and fungi thrive very well. So we're not trying to encourage that. Be sure that you brush it white when you take it out in the morning. The reason for this, guys, what is tartar and calculus? It is mineralized bacteria. You want to scrub that night guard and clean it well while the plaque is soft and smushy, not when it's sat there all day long, drying and hardening into tartar and calculus from your saliva. Brush it off when the plaque is soft. On top of that, you want to clean it on a weekly basis. So I tell patients, fill up a bowl or your sink with warm water, not hot water. Hot water can morph and ruin the plastic. Make sure your patients know that. I know someone that just put their night guard in their um, dishwasher and then wondered why it melted. Well, yeah, it's plastic. It will be damaged over the times for sure. So make sure it's just warm water or cold water um, and then soak polydent into it all. I tell patients, put your night guard in the sink, uh, the tray, your tongue scraper, your boyfriends, your husbands, your kids, toothbrush heads, everything you put in your mouth, disinfect it on a weekly basis in a nice bowl or you know your sink. I even put my tweezers and my scissors and just other things that I want disinfected in like this big sink, kind of like a disinfectant soup. And you can get polydent anywhere. You can get it at like CVS, Target, Walmart, whatnot. You can get a 120 pack for literally three to four dollars. Um, and it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Only soak it three minutes though. I tell patients only three minutes because after three minutes, it stops killing and disinfecting whatever's on your appliances and it starts degrading. You want to disinfect your night guard. You don't want to degrade and wear the plastic down. So many people soak their night guards all day long in polydent or like Listerine or hydrogen peroxide. That is not good. That is super damaging and you will wear down the plastic so much faster you'll have to replace them and they're expensive. So don't do that. On top of it, make sure your patients know every single appointment, when you come in and I clean your teeth, bring in your night guard so I can clean your second set of teeth. 
This is your second set of teeth. If I clean this set of teeth and you put in this dirty set of teeth, what did we do today? So make sure that they know to clean their night guard the same day that they are getting their teeth cleaned. I also want to evaluate it. Are they chewing through their night guard and it's totally hollowed at the bottom and they don't even know that their night guard's not effective? I also want to go over OHI with them and I want them to see how dirty their night guard looks. Your night guard came clear when you bought it. Why is it yellow, brown, black, purple, yellow, whatever? It is a billion colors, but the color clear. That's bacteria. Make sure that they know this. I even have a sheet at my office. It's called Night Guard Home Care, and it is a checklist. Number one, every morning when you take your night guard out, brush it like your regular set of teeth. This is your second set of teeth. It needs to be cleaned accordingly. I tell them brush it with soap. Only put it in warm water. Hot will, you know, de deter and ruin the plastic. Bring it every appointment. Soak it once a week in polydent. I have a little checklist sheet of all of my home care. And, and when I give them their night guard, if I take an impression and I give them a night guard or they, I give them their night guard back after I cleaned it, I give them that sheet. People don't realize we say 40 billion things to patients when we are in the chair, right? They don't remember. Oh, and then modified bass and taking care of my night guard. Oh, and flossing. And then she wanted me to start using this toothpaste and she wanted me to switch to a Sonicare because of, write these things down for your patients. You're in their mouth and there's bright lights and there's water and there's air and you're yelling a thousand things at them. Please write it down for them. They might remember one thing of those 12 things that you've listed. So make it easy on them and make it easy on yourself and do a, do a checklist of the night guard and make sure that you verbalize all these things. You think your patients clean their night guards and they'll tell you that they do and they don't. Patients constantly tell us they floss on a daily basis and then when I floss them appropriately and correctly, they gush blood. Don't think that just because they say that they cleaned it well and they do it on a daily basis that they truly are.